My current opinions of War Thunder are that it is a broken game. It's a game that is beyond fixing now because of Gaijin Entertainment's lack of care for their product. They somehow managed to make the game worse and worse with each update, adding more issues and bugs than anything prior. And it just amazes me. Like, how do you manage to ruin a game to that point? Now, I've seen quite a few comments and had quite a few people asking me, what are you doing nowadays? And now I can say, I'm not playing War Thunder, because it's a laggy, broken mess of a fee-to-play game. It's not free-to-play, it's fee-to-pay. If you don't have the current meta premiums, you're going to struggle. If you don't have premium account, it's going to take you forever to grind. And you see those adverts of War Thunder, where they say, Wow, come play War Thunder, you can play these amazing modern tanks. It's not true. You can't, unless you buy one. Let's look at the uh, store page, quickly, while I'm doing this. The most comprehensive game ever. Express com experience combined armed battles. They've got this beautiful naval page, which nobody plays because navy is beyond broken. Uh, dozens of game modes. No, there isn't. There is literally PvP. Um, that is the game mode. There is not dozens of game modes. There are arcade, realistic, sim battle. There is... That's free, by the way. Um, then you have the arcade battles where you can go against bots, so that's four. I'm not separating that into different game modes. And of course you have air, sea, and ground. We're not sort of classifying them into different game modes because they're not. They're just literally different ways of playing the game. Um, and that's the store page. Like, play on PC plus bonus. What's the bonus? Oh, you get a torpedo boat. Ah, you, you get a rank one torpedo boat. That's pretty useless. You get three days of premium account though, so that's something. Um, let's see for War Thunder ad. Let's see what we can find here. War Thunder battle trailer, you know, all this kind of stuff. So that's six years ago. Um, let's go to the War Thunder official page, see what their recent ads are. Well, th th there are none really, because it's all from long, long ago. Um, and it's literally just talking about what's there. French MBTs, you know, all these modern vehicles that you can play. Jets. Oh my god, that looks so cool. But you literally can't play them if you're an average person. You need to put so many hours of grind to get there, you're never going to do it. So, this video is just me saying, well, fuck War Thunder, I've had it. And this is my video saying, I quit. That's it. What's the point? So, yeah, if you're after War Thunder content, there are other places. If you're after historical, interesting stuff, stay here. But I'm done with War Thunder. I tried to play a few games today, and literally every game I played, I encountered five bugs and five bullshit things that happened. Uh, Jumbo, side on to me. Couldn't penetrate with a 180, sorry, with a 120 millimeter round. No, that doesn't work. Uh, KV1 penetrated from two kilometers away. Great, but you shouldn't be able to fire that far in a fucking World War II scenario. Um, then I had people shooting me through hills. Yes, literally shooting me through the terrain. Uh, so yeah, I'm done with this buggy, broken cheater infested game it can just go and burn and die off die the death it deserves because despite it being one of the best combined arm games there is for just giving you that option it is the worst combined arms combined arms game there is 
because it is just full of bugs, cheaters and bullshit.